Welcome to Believer's Channel. I'm Pastor Russ, and today I'm going to be talking about why can't God hear your prayers. So before we get into that, I'd like to remind you that there's a thumbs up button. And when you hit that, uh, that helps our ministry a lot with YouTube. And the subscribe button, when you hit that, uh, that opens up many more doors for people to hear the Word of God. So you would be blessing us to become a subscriber for sure. So let's get started. What blocks prayer? So when we are choosing to hold on to a sin, rather than repent and change, God will not hear our prayers. You see that in Isaiah 1.15. You know, sin feels good. Certain sins feel good to some people. And they don't want to let go of them. And uh, some of them even sound crazy uh, as far as wanting to hold on to something like uh, gossip and stuff like that. But that's what excites some people, and they like to hold on to that sin. But God takes it serious. You want the sin more than me. So the presence of unconfessed sin in the heart, uh, God looks at our heart, and he knows exactly where we're at, exactly what we're doing. And I want you to know that the heart, uh, I believe it's got some sort of memory system, uh, because there's been some doctors even say that there's nerves that go from the heart to the brain, and uh, it, it's communicating. And we get thoughts in the heart, and it goes to our brain, and before no, we start, we start really thinking about whatever it is. Next thing you know, we're acting on it. So uh, that's something we have to be totally aware of, so we can combat it. In John 9:31, it declares that we know that God does not listen to sinners. He listens to the godly man who does his will, God's will. It has also been said that the only prayer that God hears from the sinner is a prayer for salvation. So unless you pray for salvation, God's not going to hear anything else. That's the only thing he wants to hear. He wants to know you want to change. So let's think about that. We sin every day. Sometimes knowingly and sometimes we don't. But whatever it is, we need to clear the slate. And um, every day, every day, even before this program, I pray and ask God to forgive me because for any sins, because I want the Holy Spirit to interject in what I'm doing. And the Holy Spirit will not do that if you have some sin in your life. So you have to try to clear all that. At night, before I go to bed, I pray and I ask, not only say good night to the Holy Spirit, but I pray and ask God to forgive me for any sins in my life. And uh, I do that every day. And I want to be ready when God comes back for his believers. And that's something everybody should want to do. Wouldn't it be terrible to be left behind just because you had one sin you didn't get covered before he came back? That would be terrible. I, I can only imagine the grieving that a person would have when that happens. But let's talk about the prayers in your life that may not be getting answered because of sin. So we know before we pray uh, for or petition God, let's put it that way, uh, before we do that, we should always pray and ask for forgiveness. Then we open up the door to petition God. Churches do the same thing with communion. You can't take communion and have sin in your life. So they say the sinner's prayer before communion. So this is no different. And um, I, I want you to have a good prayer relationship with God and the only way to do that is constantly keep your slate clean because it ain't easy <laughs> you can sin so easy and not even know it so uh, keep all that in mind and uh, today I'd, I'd like to uh, say the sinner's prayer with you so that when this program closes if you want to pray and ask God to heal you, or uh, maybe you got a financial problem, 
clear the slate and then pray and ask him. And uh, I also want you to know that God answers every prayer. Every prayer that gets through to him, he answers. And it may not be when you want it done. It may not be the way you want it done, but he gets it done. I had prayers for a long time having to do with um, when I do ministry work and pray for people. And, you know, some people might get healed and some people wouldn't. And you always wonder, why did that person get healed? And I'd, I'd question God on it all the time. Uh, well, one day when I, when I died, I left my body, uh, before I came back, God answered that prayer. And he said, I do things my way, my time. And that was it. And I said, I got it. I understand it very well now. There can always be a hindrance because of sin. There can also be a hindrance because the angel coming to help you may be hindered by Satan or his demons and he has to fight his way through. That happened to Daniel. It took that angel three weeks to get to Daniel. Daniel, rather. And... Uh, so those things can hinder prayer. Uh, your sins, uh, angels coming to help you get hindered. And the last one, of, of course, would be God does things His way, His time. And He does that because He knows best. He knows what's best for you and when you should receive it. Now, there are times that when He does it His way and His time, it's to glorify Him. Hey, when they, when they fixed my heart, when they took it out and rebuilt it and stuck it back in, and I died a couple of times, they could have, God could have sent an angel with a brand new heart and took care of that whole situation before I ever got to the hospital. But He didn't. And the reason why He didn't was He had to get the glory. And I would never tell a doctor God's going to heal me. I wanted the doctor to tell me that I was a miracle and God healed me. And that's exactly what happened. God got the glory so much it was unbelievable. About three months after I was out, my heart doctor said to me, he says, you're a miracle. And the nursing staff all said, you're a miracle. It just went on and on and on. And when I went to another hospital about a year and a half later for something else, they looked at my history and they said, you're a miracle, aren't you? So God got the glory. God got the glory. And that's what it's all about, giving God the glory. But if he can heal you right on the spot and get the glory too, then that can happen too. So there's a, a lot of things that hinder prayer. But we want to make sure that you're not one of them, that you're not the one holding things back. And you, you can only do that through sin. By sinning, you're holding things back. You separate yourself from God the moment you sin. There's a wall that goes up because He's holy. God is holy. And because He's holy, He can't be near anything that's sinful. And He... It's just the way it works. So what do you say we say the sinner's prayer right now? And, uh, you know, when we're done saying that, I mean, if you want to go into asking God to heal you or help you with your finance or anything like that, that's the time to do it. Just say this prayer and repeat after me. Say, Father God, I'm a sinner. I've sinned against you. I've sinned against myself. I want to clear my slate so I can talk to you and be with you and I know that someday I'll go into heaven. I ask right now that you, you forgive me by cleansing me with the blood of Jesus. May I just be drenched in the blood of Jesus that I would be made pure and made clean that I can stand before you a holy man and ask for forgiveness ask for healings ask for help 
I just ask this in Yeshua Jesus' name. Amen. Now, if you said that prayer, everything's behind you. And everything else is in front of you. A, a great life, a holy life. And please, say the sinner's prayer every day. Just your version of it. It could be simple. Like, Lord, please forgive me for my sins so I can speak with you today. And just that simple. And then go into your petition. So keep all these things in mind, I'm telling you. And um, I'd like to bless you before I leave today. May God bless you. May he keep you. May his face shine upon you. And may his countenance be with you every day. I just ask this in Yeshua, Jesus' name. Don't forget the thumbs up and the, the subscribe button. If you haven't subscribed, uh, please do. That opens the doors for more people to hear the word of God. In Yeshua, Jesus' name, God bless. Amen.